what's going on everybody today we're going to test the sigma 105 millimeter uh f 1.4 uh, we're also going to have that on the a7 III, um, particularly the a7 III because the focus points go all the way out to the edge, so just like the a9, so I figured it'd be a good camera to test it on, uh, and also seeing that it has more advanced video profiles than the a7 III, uh, that's usually my go-to for video, but anyways, um, we're going to check performance here. So right now I got my niece and my nephew helping me out, they are my assistants today, um, doing a great job. I wanted to try different focusing modes. I wanted to try different focusing scenarios. Um, so far right now, what we're going to do is we're just checking the eye autofocus. Um, the eyes track it, following the subject, moving all the way back, moving forward, side to side. So far, so good. I'm going to get into uh, video mode. This was actually shot in 4K. We're going to down sample it to 1080. But um, I wanted to see how it performs in video mode, uh, tracking the subject. Um, and on the video mode, I'm able to um, touch the screen and I could touch the focus. So what you see me doing here is uh, actually touch to focus, uh, touching on the foreground and the background. So, and it does it really fast. I was really surprised. Um, the Sigma previously before you did, I did the update for the MC11 adapter, it um, performed really bad, but it turned around, picked up, did really well after I uh, updated the MC11 adapter. So now we're going to switch the focus mode to flexible spot large. And with this, we're going to be able to um, track the subject and I'm moving back and forth my niece is silly um, but yeah I was really happy with the tracking on the eyes uh, definitely caught the eyes and locked on um, and then wherever you put the subject uh, in the frame uh, they'll focus on it pretty well uh, but this particular one you have to move the spot around but yeah it did really well keeps tracking keeps tracking I was really pleased with the performance. I was actually surprised out of all the Sigma lenses I've tested, this one actually probably performed the best out of all of them. I usually have some sort of issues where the uh, lens will just not catch and, and it'll miss focus or whatever, but this one really did well. Um, I shot it with wedding the day before and didn't have any issues. Um, other than distance, I think the only issue you run into when you use these long focal lenses running out of room to stand, and sure enough, I found myself in some bushes yesterday. Um, but generally speaking, I think if you if you have the space um, to separate your subject from the background, awesome. It'll be a great lens. It'll give you that nice background blur. Subject stays really nice and sharp. And I can't wait to get the Sony email version, but definitely if you uh, have the Canon version, I don't think it'll be... Um, too bad of an experience is it perfect by no means um, you do find yourself in some situations where it won't lock on directly but usually it does pretty well but you know and then here I just wanted to check and see okay focus on the background far background and then focus on the subject and see how we do and again, it just the lens just shows you how uh, in depth you can really get with it. Really precise lens um, and really fast. So whether you're using this for photos or for video, I think you guys will be satisfied with the uh, quality of this lens, the performance of the lens, how accurate it is, how sharp it is, and that beautiful background bokeh blur. But that's it for today. 
Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, put them down. If you guys have any uh, thoughts on the lens or any other tests you want to see, I'll make sure to get them done as soon as I can. All right.